Hello there, friends. I'm Yule Humphreys, back with you again on the subject of, of uh, the t Bible Reflections, and I'm glad to be here with you, and I want to share a word with you. Again, uh, speaking a series of messages on the, on the power and the authority of the name of Jesus Christ. We need to realize what glorious authority and power is in the name of Christ, and what wonderful riches we have as Christians, and what wonderful privilege we have, and authority that's ours in that name. For instance, we know that we must pray in the name of Jesus Christ, and prayer is answered in His name. In the Bible of uh, John, uh, uh, in the uh, 16th chapter, Jesus said, You shall ask in my name, verily I say unto you, whatever you shall ask the Father, in my name He will give it to you. <clears throat> And then he said, Hitherto you have asked nothing in my name, but now ask, and you shall receive, that your joy may be full. Until then they, were not, they had not prayed in his name. They had looked forward to Messiah to come, but they had not uh, uh, been able to behold him and to experience him and to see him until this day when he came, born of the Virgin. And now he said, I've come, and now I'm going back to the Father in a place of intercession for you. And I want you to learn to pray now in my name. For in my name you're going to be heard in heaven. In my name the Father will hear you. Pray, you shall ask the Father. Whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give it to you. So we need to pray in the name of Jesus to the Father and believe that God is going to grant us that request because we're praying in the name of Christ. Now when we pray in the name of Jesus, we need to realize we need to pray in the will of God and in line with the Word of God when we pray. But if our prayers are in the will of God, in the Word of God, and aligned up with God's Word, then we can ask what we will in His name and it will be given to us. We need to believe that. To dare to believe it. Step out on the water, Christian, and walk on the way because God's Word is real and right and it is truth. We need to stand on it. It will hold us up. The Bible says, and then again, Jesus said, Hitherto you have asked nothing in my name, but now ask that you may receive. You have had nothing in my name, but ask and you shall receive that your joy may be full. You see, real joy comes in answered prayer. When you see that prayer answered, hallelujah, you have the joy in your heart, and God gives you that joy, hallelujah, and it's real, and it's right, and then God will never take it from you, and you'll walk in the pleasure of the Lord. Now, in the name of Jesus, there's power, power. Believe that God hears you because of power, and receive it that your joy may be full. Oh, Christians, some of you are, are backslidden. Come back, come back, come back to the Word. Come back, believe like a child. Believe the Word of God. Don't try to figure it all out. Just believe it. When He said it, I love you. I will do for you what's right. Just trust me. Trust me. Ask me, and it shall be given you. Seek, and you'll find me. Keep on knocking, and I'm going to open that door for you. Oh, believe these things are of God. He loves you, and you belong to Him if you're a Christian. If you're not a Christian, Oh, you need to humble yourself and say, Lord, forgive me. I believe in Jesus. I'm tired of this old life that I'm living. I don't find any peace in it. And I find no way that I can find a joy that I'd like to have in my heart. And so I'm turning to you and I'm asking you, to forgive me. I'm trusting you, Lord Jesus, as my Savior, my Lord, and my God, and He'll save you, and you'll become a Christian, and you'll be born again, and you are saved by the grace of God. Believe it, and be saved right now. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Praise God. There is power in the name. We can, uh, some say that we can even demand things in the name of Jesus. And uh, in that word of uh, John uh, 14th chapter, where Jesus taught us to pray, he said these words. He said, Now, uh, verily I say unto you that he that believes on me the works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go to the Father. And he said, The things that I'm doing you can do. The miracles that I'm performing, I want to let you learn how to get in on these miracles. And you can do these things. 
You can declare peace over pain and problems. You can declare victory over poverty and financial worries. You can declare oh, health and healing over sickness and disease. You can declare, oh, praise God, the, the will of God in your life instead of the way of, of the flesh. You can work miracles because He said you could. He said, the works that I do, you shall do also. And whatever you ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father be glorified in the Son. And some of the original, I mean the Greek professor says, that that word could mean also not only ask in His name, but decree it in His name, say it in His name, demand it almost in His name, you see, and that will happen. We can come, for instance, if a person has a, has something that's a, a disease of his body. Oh, I've had, I've had been having a backache, a backache, you know, and yesterday I just prayed and I said, Now, Lord, I'm praying in the name of Jesus, I'm commanding this backache to be gone. I'm commanding it to be gone and healed in the name of Jesus. Well, my dear friend, I want you to know I'm feeling much better. I believe we have power to demand in the name of Jesus Christ that we can have the things we desire when they're in the will of God. I believe we can do it. We can demand that worry leave us. We're not going to worry about this thing anymore. Get out of my mind. I cast you out. I demand that you go in the name of Jesus Christ. Not my name, but in the name of Jesus Christ. Go and get out. That thing that's bothering you, whatever it is, cast it out from you in the name of Jesus Christ, and you'll have to go. And so we see the power of God. Victory, victory, victory in the Word of God. Victory in the name of Jesus. There's salvation in that name. And in Acts, the 16th chapter, verse 31, the Bible says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and you shall be saved. Saved from hell. Saved forever. Saved once and saved forever. The Holy Spirit comes in when you're saved. He will never, ever leave you. You'll be His and His forever. Every sin will be discarded and forgiven. You still have to suffer when you do wrong down here unless you ask forgiveness. And when you do, of course, but, but up there you'll never stand and face your sins, Christian, because they're all paid for. And praise God, Jesus has paid the price. And it sets you free. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, you shall be saved and saved forever. There's only one way to be saved. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man, no man, no person shall ever come to the Father except by me. No person will ever enter heaven except by me. There's only one way to get there, and that's the way of the cross. That's Jesus who paid for your sins and rose again. And that leaves you in the clear. You can walk with God and know you're forgiven. God bless you, dear friend, and help you today to know the truth that all is well. Jesus has paid it all. And now you belong to Him. And your love is grow, and you'll become more and more what you ought to be and what He wants you to be because He's with you now. And it makes all the difference in the world when He walks with you. In Jesus' name, grant it so, God. God loves you, and I love you, and I'm praying that you'll walk my faith in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen.